This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at ideal gases. We'll start by looking at the assumptions of the ideal gas law. The first assumption is that particles in an ideal gas are in constant random straight line motion. The collisions between particles are elastic with no loss in kinetic energy. The volume occupied by the particles is negligible relative to the volume of the container. And finally, there are no intermolecular forces acting between the particles in an ideal gas. For one mole of an ideal gas, the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1. So here we have the equation, amount in moles of an ideal gas is equal to PV divided by RT. If we substitute in the pressure and the temperature at STP, we get a value of 1.00 moles. So this shows us that for an ideal gas, the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1. Real gases deviate the most from ideal gas behavior under two conditions, high pressure and low temperature. Under these conditions, the product of PV divided by RT is no longer equal to 1. In this graph, we can see the deviation of nitrogen gas from ideal gas behavior. On the y-axis, we have the product of PV divided by RT. On the x-axis, we have the pressure in pascals. The dashed red line shows the behavior of an ideal gas for which the product of PV divided by RT is equal to 1 under any conditions. The other colored lines show the deviation of nitrogen gas from ideal gas behavior at different temperatures and pressures. If we look at the green curve on the graph, we can see that this curve represents the greatest deviation from ideal gas behavior. The conditions that produce this green curve are low temperature and high pressure. So as we saw earlier, ideal gases have virtually no volume and no intermolecular forces exist between the particles. However, at high pressures, the space between the particles is reduced and the volume occupied by a real gas can no longer be considered to be negligible. That is, real gases have finite volume. At high temperatures, the particles have sufficient kinetic energy to overcome the intermolecular forces between the particles. At lower temperatures, the kinetic energy of the gas particles decreases and intermolecular forces between the gaseous particles become significant. So for these reasons, real gases deviate the most from ideal gas behavior under two conditions, that's high pressure and low temperature. Intermolecular forces also have an effect on the pressure of a real gas compared to an ideal gas. The intermolecular forces between the particles reduce the number of collisions with the container walls. The pressure exerted by the gas particles on the container walls decreases, therefore the observed pressure for a real gas is less than that predicted by the ideal gas law.